You already know what it is. Your self-proclaimed mediocre Pokemon Unite Master here, Tiggly Man, coming at you with some Master Rank Battles live. And today, we are going to be working with the fastest tank in the game, Crustle, the GOAT. Stay tuned. What is And we're back. Crustle. Completely underrated. A lot of people like to put him a little lower on the tier list spectrum, but he does serve his purpose. And he could be ran as a full-fledged tank or a pretty solid attacker. First things first, let's go over our item build for Crustle. This build here, Muscle Band, Buddy Barrier, Score Shield. Um, this three item is kind of a one-trick. This three item combination is kind of a one-trick for uh, tanks, supports, as long as you're not doing like attack damage carry, these three items are good on just about anybody. Um, with his speed, you can shell smash and Crustle can run really fast and having score shield with that feels very, very broken. Okay, so we have our essential 1v1 general set, right? You get HP, you get some support for your team with buddy barrier, you increase your uh, auto attacks with muscle band, but let's take a step out of the element let's say you're a crustal main May let's even take it further you're a defender main right and you have another teammate that picks a defender you have another teammate that picks a support so now you got your crustal let's say a snorlax and an eldegoss and you're panicking like who do i pick you're not very good with attackers but you're good with crustal right you change your items up change your items up and change your goal with crustal up with this set you're going to be defending goals potentially stealing farm and scoring. But if you don't want to do a full-fledged defender role, he can also attack. And all you have to do is change out the buddy barrier and the score shield. So you're always going to keep muscle band. You're going to be using auto attacks a lot. With that increased speed stat, you're going to be running up in people's faces, getting on their shit, and you want to pressure them as much as possible. If you're on cooldown, you're going to be auto attacking them. Muscle band, no matter what. If you're not running muscle band, you're playing crustal, ro crustal wrong. Okay. Second item, over Buddy Barrier, we could go Floatstone. People trash on Floatstone. They do. The stats are very minor, but if your team needs a little more damage, that plus 20 attack, you're going to be doing 20 more damage for with your auto attacks per auto attack. You know, and that movement speed upgrade is minor, but it's something. When you pair that with Shell Smash, you are going to chase people down that normally wouldn't be chased down by you, and it will take people by surprise. And then for the third item, you equip Scope Lens. If you run the X Scissor set on a Crustle, it can crit. Even Stealth Rock can crit. And you can see it. When you get a crit uh, with the X Scissor, it hits three times. If one of the hits crits, uh, you're going to be going in for an execution. You're going to be chasing them down because they're going to be nearly dead, even if they are a defender. It does a lot of damage. And you can even get lucky and crit all three, and that'll usually kill somebody. Or you crit two, and that's going to put them in a very, very bad spot. So, again, first set, tank set, right? Let's go to battle prop. I backed out too far. These damn menus muscle band, buddy barrier, score shield, right? Damage set, Muscle Band, Float Stone, Scope Lens. Now, for his moves, this is very controversial. Crustle has uh, a controversial move pull, and I'm going to tell you why. So, at level 4, you get the choice between Rock Tomb and Shell Smash. Rock Tomb, unless your team is coordinated, don't pick it. If you are like part of the 1% with Crustle that's good with Rock Tomb, then knock yourself out. But if you're trying it out, don't try it out in ranked. I just don't try it out in ranked. Do it in standard play. It's you can really mess your team up uh, using this move. It could also be legendary. It could also take people by surprise. It could also be a win condition uh, with zoning people and forcing people to take you on. You know, it does have its utility. But if you're not coordinating with somebody, it's def definitely not a go-to pick. Shell Smash, though, is um, if you are solo queuing, Shell Smash Crustle's fantastic. You have uh, the best mobility in the game, and your damage is really decent. You just have to be aware when you do Shell Smash, you're not going to be as tanky as he appears to be. So if you want to tank, there's going to be some engagements where you're not going to want to Shell Smash. You're just going to want to front line and try to push people back. You'll survive a little bit longer, but generally speaking, you will be Shell Smashing all the time. For a second move, like... 
what was it, three weeks ago, Stealth Rock got buffed. This move at level 15 does like 6,200 damage. It's absolutely insane. It's fantastic for stealing farm. It's fantastic for taking objectives. It's fantastic for when you're trying to score, zoning enemies away from the goal zone so you can score, and then vice versa. If people are on your goal, you just shoot it on top of them, and great, now they can't score, and you actually don't have to be there. You can just snipe them with it. Um, really versatile but the one thing is if you choke your shot um this could be the most useless move in the game you can just stealth rock empty ground where no one or any wild pokemon are and you just put yourself on cooldown for absolutely no reason so with a little bit of practice this move feels a bit busted then we have another good pick which is x scissor fantastic move for zoning people damaging people executions the whole nine this move is absolutely fantastic if you do want to go for an execution make sure you x scissor someone into a wall that is where you're going to get this full utility if they hit a wall you get a stun on top of this so you get to smack them three times and stun them absolutely fantastic you have another person with you if you knock someone into a wall they're going to be dead more times than not um x scissor guilt free pick great move stealth rock if you if you're good you can aim that thing that is a god pick that is a ballsy shad move and you'd want to pick that um depending on how our team composition goes uh we're gonna pick one or the other i'm probably gonna be debuting x scissor today but we'll see how feisty i feel without further ado guys let's get into our games the queue time was really fast yesterday i hope it's still really quick today fingers crossed master rank i know my uh rank ain't too high but you know how this game goes instantly beautiful now the goal um we got to get crustal as quick as we can so i'm already holding down the side slide there we go and we got our boy um i'm gonna be running fluffy tail set top path you want to run um crustal top path i'm gonna wait to see our full team composition okay so zero aura is already running fluffy tail so i'm gonna run a jack button guilt free if this uh, Zero Aura is good, he should be showing up to all the objectives, and his Fluffy Tail should suffice for this game. And, um... Wow. Let's hope the Blissey goes bottom path. We have three people going top. I might rotate bottom. Might. We'll see. But luckily, we have a Greninja in our jungle, which is really strong. And hey, we are versing another Crustal. Oh, their team is nasty. Their team is nasty. Definitely um, probably a better composition than ours, but we'll see if we can outplay them. Fingers crossed. Maybe we pick up speed. I can talk a little bit of shit. Who knows? Who knows? Venusaur is going to be definitely in top lane. I'm definitely starting with Fury Cutter to clear farm quickly. All right, so I'm laying with Zero Aura. That is definitely not ideal here. I don't like Zero Aura in lane, but that's okay. You know, this is how the game is. This is how you want to play it. Check this out. Boom, hit both at once. You need quick farm clear time. And now we can waddle right on over to this um fish. There we go. I think I got it. I think I did. But right now, I got to work on evolving, so I am taking these. I'm going to move forward to see if uh, our little buddy's okay. And we're going to jump on Krusty. There we go. I'm going to stun him. Execute. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we got our Shell Smash. Don't ever accidentally take the Rock Tomb. You want Shell Smash. Now we can plow this up. Go on over. And, um, I'm going to try to dunk us. See, just like that. You can literally do it in their face, guilt-free. No questions asked. And you can play super aggressive. No consequence. I have my eject button so I can get out of sticky situations if I have to. I'm going to push, even though I'm not at full. Got that quick level up. Again, I'm pushing again. Oh, almost got him. Almost got him. I'm going to score, get some health back. There we go. Got a little bit of chip on them. You know, you want to encourage them to stay on their goal. You don't want them to be higher HP and feel the need to push. Get that fish, Zeroora. Get that fish. Yep. 
All you gotta do is make sure you keep one of your abilities off cooldown um, on your goal if you're versing someone with score shield, so you can hit them with that ability and break that score shield. Now that guy level advantage, that guy will not be able to utilize a score shield because I'm gonna break it every time he pulls up. Every time. All right, we got both of them. My zero ore is down there. I don't want to do a 2v1. No sense. No sense in that. Okay, my zero is back. Yep, yep. Shit, shit. Now we can at least trade with him. Oh, I don't know why I turned in the middle of that. That was kind of lame. Chasing me, chasing me. Back up. That's right. You've been outbested, brother. By crusty nutsack. Here we go. Damn it. Why did he turn me around? <laughs> Why? There's certain mons that will turn you around while you X scissor. I know Lucario is one of them. I think his power up punch can turn you around. There we go. Cleared that Vespa coin camp. I'm rotating bottom. I do really want to try to score to get some HP, so that's exactly what I'm going to do real quick. So I can heal. Just like that. All right, pushing him back. There we go, got one KO. I'm glad we got Dreadnought too, that was good. Let me get this berry, there we go. Let me get it off! No! No! <laughs> I tried to eject button, I overextended hard. That's okay though. We, we, we got Dreadnought. We still have our level advantage. We're looking good. We're sitting pretty. I'm still going bottom lane just because of the kind of the whole enemy team's there. If we can get a second wipe. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Dreadnought get, didn't get taken. Why did I have a shield? Must have been the Blissey. I'm going crazy. Come on, let's get him. Now we have him. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was good shit. Good shit. Our Maltine on point. Why do I keep getting jerked around? I'm going to score, though. Break this goal. Yup. If you guys are going to lose your lane, buddy. That's how it's done. Eject button engagement, baby. Never see it coming. And if you're wondering why I did do that, because I could have just let him back up. That's a Greninja. Like, I want to kill him. I want to make sure he does not feel comfortable overextending, and I need to make sure his level stays down. And that's just how it is. Working my way up. No, don't let that crustle score. Get it back on our side. Nuke him. I don't care about your ult. Come on. Oh, he's out of here. He's out of here. Let's chase down this wiggly man. Where are you at, wiggly man? Which side are you on? Oh, you're running. Let me get in front of you. There we go. There we go. Get him. Get him. Working my way back around. Come on. Come on. I gotta get out of here. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I ain't gonna be sniped either. All right, I gotta recall. Gotta recall. All right. I'm heading top. Let my team know. I don't want this Crustle breaking our goal. He's getting free experience, and we can't have that. No dickheads in my lobby. Oh, and then he just goes down. No, don't, don't, don't kill Zero Aura. He's a nice guy. There we go. Double stun. Our Greninja is nice and fed. Nice and fed. I'm just going to go top, and I'm going to work on getting some farm. Okay? Don't want to be doing nothing. You do not want to sit idle. Dreadnought's back, so I'm going to work on recalling and rotating down. They got the second Dreadnought, so I am not going to do that. I'm going to rotate over here, get this Audno, and I'm going to uh, defend that goal zone once they work their way over here, because they are coming. Yep, that's right. What? Oh, that's stupid. Alright, he ulted. That's dumb. Yep, that's that. I told you it's dumb. As I was saying, just got my shell smash plus. We are ready to kiss butts. You already know what it is. All right, let's keep moving forward. 
All right, I'll help you. Let's score quick. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. As long as they don't take Zap, you know, we're sitting pretty. Did we break that goal? Shit, we broke that goal. And this farm's mine. All we have to do is defend Zap. Nothing crazy. What? Oh, yeah, her ability. Wigglytuff's ability, if you X Scissor, it'll cancel out. Your character will just start walking towards her. Kind of whack. But we can get this Vespa Queen camp, though. It's been a long time since I ran X Scissor Crust Oil. This shit's gas. This shit is gas. And that uh, Greninja is kind of annoying. Let it rip, baby. That's right. That's right. Get shit on. Get shit on. People use eject button to escape, but shit, I just use it to engage. You can recall back and get the full health. Hey, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm actually going to try to kill one more Odno, maybe try to get to level 13. And I'm going to work my on over to zap and defend. Got eight seconds here. Got eight seconds. All right. It looks like my team is actually um, probably getting smashed a little bit. Because Zapdos just spawned in. Got a whole lot rotating top here. Hell out of here. I'm all teen. There we go. Come on. Come on. No! We're dodging my shit. Come back here. Come back here. Get him, Zero. Get him. What are you doing? No, are, are we taking Zap? We took Zap. That's that's right. That's right. It's over. Over. Fluffy Tail's busted. That Zero Aura made a good move. I was wondering why he wasn't taking out Crustle. Crustle was useless in the fight. He had to run away. And they surrendered. We won. That's Crustle, baby. I was in their face the entire damn game. I don't even think I died that whole game. That's tits. That's awesome. That is awesome. I only went 2-4, and four, but... Put on a lot of pressure that entire game. Wasn't a minute I was slowing down. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. And our Greninja was crazy. Um, is that Nigel 3? If, dude, if you're watching this, nicely done. That was gas. Good shit, everyone. Good shit. Beautiful game. Beautiful game. Hey, you know what? Thank you all for tuning in. That is X Scissor Crustal. He can smash high ladder. Any ladder. Any ladder play aggressively use your eject button to engage and execute people they will never ever see it coming thank you all for tuning in love you guys and i'll catch you in the next one later everybody